Okay, this is a model tour of the Ocean model. It's actually a villa here in Watersong by Mattamy Homes. Now, let me give you a little vantage point of the front of this first. So these villas are connected and actually what you see, this is converted into the sales office, but that would be a two car garage in its own unit. And then this is a two car garage over here. And this is the one that we're going to tour together. So, gosh, you know what? When I was growing up, we called these duplexes. So if you're familiar with duplexes, that's what they're calling villas here. Villas just sound so much fancier, right? It's like high class. So benefit of this is no lawn care, no lawn maintenance. That's included in uh, your dues with the villas. So a big difference from this and the other home that we just went through is this garage, two car garage, is connected to the inside of the home. The other one, gosh, what was the name of that? You know what, I don't have it here. The other side of the villa, the two car garage was detached and you actually had to uh, walk through a little, um, you had to walk through an exterior door back into the inside of your home. So if you don't like the idea of a somewhat detached entrance of a garage, then this is a better option for you. This really feels open. Hey, for just over 1500 square feet, this area feels really open. I love it. So much to, has to do with the colors, the color scheme that you choose, whether or not rooms feel large or if they feel small. Base price with this home right now is right around the 275 mark. Naturally that will change. But we're in the spring of 2021 and that's the price. Really, really lovely. Look at this, this color scheme. It's got some blue green tones in there and I really love, gosh, how they tied in that backsplash. Looks nice. So there's natural gas cooking, natural gas stove, some wonderful cabinet space here with the uppers and lowers. You know, they did a nice job with keeping this area um, not too tight. Two people can walk through without bumping into one another. You know, the, the old test though of bending over and opening this, I'm bending over now and my backside is not hitting this counter. So that's a, a nice observation. Then your sink overlooking the living room and then the formal dining room. This is a really nice layout. It feels really good. Plenty of space here to walk through. Plus you have extra area for seating right there. That's a nice, nice feature. Yeah, they have plenty of uh, neat leg space under here and under here. Huh, this is a clever idea. A great use of that space. Just a little um, slim desk next to the windows. And then, gosh, this is, so interestingly enough, they have this set up as an eating area, which is lovely. But check this out. What do you think about this idea? You could actually use this as a study. You could put double doors on it and have a private study or flex room. And if you wanted to, there is plenty of space between this room and this area to put an oval eating, eating um, table right here. That's what a lot of builders do. So it's just right off of the kitchen. Cause this is, you really don't need this chair. And um, this area here feels large enough. This is a great space really works well. You don't feel like you're crammed in a little apartment. Nine foot ceilings make it look nice. 
Okay, what do you say we go up here to the front? Hey, if this is the first video that you're finding me on, my name is Josh Rogers. I'm a real estate agent here in North St. Johns County. We focus and specialize with families just like you with new construction and new communities like this. So I really am focused on being your resource and giving some boots on the ground, ideas, some feedback, perspective, counsel, recommendations. Um, I'm not just another guy on YouTube doing generic model tours, but I wanna be a resource to help coach you through maybe some some things that you haven't thought about, or maybe even share with you communities that you don't know exist. So let's keep this uh, relationship uh, collaborative, meaning if you have questions, send me a text. My text information is below. I'm a regular guy, just an ordinary, real person. So if you send me questions, either myself or one of my amazing partners is gonna make sure that you get those answers. So that's the reason that I'm doing these videos. I love interacting with families like you every day from here locally and also all over the country. Here is the pantry. So you tell me, if you didn't know, guess how many kids I have? I'll, I'll tell you. You tell me, how's the size of this pantry work? There's, like the, you don't go down, it doesn't open up at all. It's kind of, it's right here. You open the door and it is right there. Is this enough for two people? My opinion, it's tight. My opinion, it's not enough space. But does it work? I mean, you tell me. I have six kids. So we need like, we need like a, a full room to keep all of our, our groceries in our pantries. But I'm not in this stage of life with this active adult community where hey, this pantry here may be just fine. So let me know. Give me some feedback. Now we open up to a powder bath. Check it out, everybody. This is a, this is a huge powder bath. Typically, a powder bath would be half this size. But... If I'm thinking correctly, this does open up wheelchair accessibility, or at least that option. Okay, so we're gonna put a half bath on the list. Now right behind us is the second bedroom. It's a decent sized bedroom. You know the reason I know is because you see two end tables and then a big dresser. This is not a small piece of furniture. So still have some decent space on both sides. I do love the two nice big windows bringing in this light. They went ahead and added recessed lights throughout here, which is nice. Let's check out this. There we go. Yep, that works. Now this is a built-in, after the fact, for some coats, some shoes, and a little bench. Then we walk into the walk-through into your two-car garage. Now, this, this two-car garage right now is turned into a sales, sales office, okay? But I'm... Um, yeah, assuming that there will be a door. There's got to be a door here, everybody. Since this is a model, a lot of times they take the doors off. But since that's your laundry room, this has to, this has got to be a door, right? And then you, they have some cabinets added here. Plenty of space. You don't feel crammed. You don't feel claustrophobic. Air conditioning closet there. So you come in through the garage with the groceries. Let's walk this out and bring the groceries right in and put them on this counter. Put the groceries away in the fridge and in the pantry. So that works. That works. Hey, as we are walking through, if you have questions about this model, maybe things that I rush by, or things that are kind of bugging you and want some clarity on, hit me up in the text, okay? My text information is below. That's what I'm here for, is to make your life easier. No reason for you to try to navigate this on your own. It's just too much. 
All right, let's finish this, this section and then we're going to go into the master bedroom. You know what I really like is how a lot of homes, this wall just continues on and it feels like a shotgun home. But this area, how they open it all up, it just adds more dimension. It makes it feel nice and big. If I were to come in this home not knowing the square footage, I'd probably say it feels like 1,800 square foot. And that's without even seeing the master suite yet. So this 1,500 square foot home feels larger than 1,500 square feet. Hope that helps. Hope this gives you perspective. The next video, I will see you in the master bedroom and the outdoor living area where they expanded the paper patio. It really looks sharp. So I'll see you on that video.